What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So guys today we are selling a full hanger business 50 crates. We're gonna do it solo and also in a full public lobby so that we can get that high demand bonus. Now this week there is double cash on the hanger sale missions and as some of you guys know with the latest update they also permanently tripled the earnings on the hanger. So right now in fact if you compare it to the original earnings it's six times of what it was before. So a lot of money that you can earn. So over here you guys can see it 50 crates. We can sell it for 5.1 million. But we're going to do it in a full public lobby. So at the end we're going to get 7.8 million. Because we get an additional 2% bonus for each player in the lobby. If you guys are also planning on doing this by the way you can also do it in a private session but then of course you won't get the bonus but you still get 5.1 million or even in a normal week you will get 2.55 million which is of course still a lot. Now this is only the case with narcotics, chemicals and medical supplies because for these three options if you sell 50 crates of the same type you will get a 70% bonus. So if you are planning on selling full stock, having one of these three options is the best. If you're not selling full stock, it will be different. But that's another video because then I have to explain all of the bonuses. By the way, it has to be the same type. So you cannot mix up narcotics and medical supplies because then it won't work. When selling the hangar on your own full stock, there is a couple of things that you guys need to know. So first of all, not all sale missions are possible. And even the ones that are possible, most of them are pretty hard. So it's definitely not an easy thing. On my first attempt, I got the FH-100 mission, 3 helicopters, 15 drops in total, which is normally possible. But the thing is with this mission is that when you do the first drop with the first helicopter, you have to get the second helicopter and then the third one and complete the same drop. So for each drop you have to do this. And this is of course very annoying. It's similar to the mission with the insurgent that you have for the bunker. So just if you get this one, search for a new session. And when you do this, you will only lose 3 crates. So it's not that big of an issue. So second attempt, again 50 crates. So I just got 3 more crates. Not too hard. And on my second attempt, I got the mogul mission. Again 15 drops, 3 airplanes. But this mission, to be honest, it is possible, but it's very difficult, especially on your own. So again, I just got a new lobby. So for your information, with the Mogo mission, you can just do all five drops for each vehicle one by one. So it's a normal mission, but you get chased down by helicopters and there's no way to protect yourself. So that's why it's really annoying. It's still possible. You can get rid of the enemy helicopters, but it's just not a mission, which is easy. So I would rather skip it and just get another three crates. In my third attempt, I got one of the missions, which is easy and also possible on my own. So of course, then I went and completed it. So this is the cargo bop mission. In this mission, you have to deliver six containers with three different cargo bops for some reason. So after you do two containers, you have to switch the cargo bop. But it's a very easy mission. So if you get this, you should be very happy. Now, another mission that you could get that's also possible is the Skylift mission. Again, a very easy mission and you can definitely do this on your own with full stock. Then you also have the Alpha Z1 mission. So this is kind of a stunt plane. With this mission, you will have a lot of drops, but it's also something that you can do on your own. Then you also have the Seabreeze mission. In this mission, just like with the Mogul, you will have enemies that are chasing you, but the Seabreeze is much stronger than the Mogul, and also it's much easier to get rid of the enemies with the Seabreeze. But this, I would say, is kind of a difficult mission. Then the last one that you could complete on your own is the Havoc mission. So these are the small helicopters. You could get eight of these, and with each one of them, you have to do two drops, so 16 drops in total. This seems like a lot, but it's also possible on your own. But to be honest, in a full session, I wouldn't try this one because it's also a tricky mission. But if you guys ask me if it's possible, yes, it's also possible. I would also maybe even say that the FH-100 is possible, but it's a very annoying mission. And also the Mogul, technically it's possible, but again, a very hard and difficult mission. Then also, if you are not doing it on your own, you can get the ultralight mission and the bombushka mission. The bombushka also very easy. But like I said, you could not get these on your own. So if you are doing it solo, it will be one of the missions that I mentioned. 
By the way, in general, doing a sail mission with the hangar on your own is not really something that I recommend. I would say the optimal amount to sell on your own, which is easy, is 10 crates at a time with the hangar business because then you just get one delivery vehicle. It's always a stress-free sail mission. But of course, if you could get 7.8 million just by doing one sail mission, it's definitely something that you have to try out at least once. Now the last thing that I also wanted to talk about in this video is how long does it actually take to fill up the hangar on your own. Now I would say depending on the missions that you get and depending on your skills, this could be different. But just to give you guys a number, it normally takes you between 5 to 10 minutes to complete a sale mission. Now if you are sourcing narcotics, chemicals or medical supplies, the cooldown, if you are doing it on your own, is 3 minutes. So that gives you an average of 8 to 13 minutes for a sail mission together with the cooldown time. So for 50 crates, it would take you between 6.5 hours to 10.5 hours to get full stock. Now again, this depends on the sail mission that you get. This depends on how fast you do it. But let's just say on average, something around 8 hours or maybe if you are fast, 6 hours to fill up the entire hangar. And if you sell it with double cash, like I'm doing over here, with a full lobby, you could get almost 8 million. So if you look at the money that you get in the time, it's definitely worth it, but it's also a very hard grind. Keep in mind, by the way, guys, the 7.8 million, it's only when it's double cash. So if it's not double cash, it will be 3.9. Or if you are selling in a private session, instead of 5.1, it will be 2.55. So over here you guys have it, finally we completed the sale mission, 7.85 million, almost 8 mil, one big payout. I think this is the biggest payout that you can get in the game. I was definitely very happy when I finished this, because keep in mind, I was doing this in a public session, I grinded 7, 8 hours for this, so imagine if someone comes and just destroys everything. So this is also a tip that I can give you guys if you are selling in a full lobby for the high demand bonus, which is actually quite a lot, scope out the lobby. So check first of all if there are a lot of jets flying around, a lot of oppressor mark 2s flying around, check if people are killing each other all the time, so these are all bad signs. And also maybe do a couple of supply missions first to just see if people won't grief your cargo. If it's not the case, then go ahead and sell your product. Also, by the way, if you guys want to get the supplies faster, a trick that I used was just go in a public lobby and invite everyone in the lobby to your CEO or to your MC. If they join, sometimes they help, which is of course really nice. And then maybe afterwards you can return the favor. But even if they don't help, it's good because when you do a source mission with multiple people in your CEO or your MC, you can source multiple crates. And even if they don't help and you have to do everything on your own, it's still faster because you still have the cooldown time. So always keep this in mind. Anyway, guys, that was it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 7.8 million in the bank. Let me know if you guys also tried this out. Make sure to do it. It's actually very fun. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out the Discord in the description. And peace out, you guys.